Crime Atlas Nation. How is your guys' day going? Don't, please don't forget to like and comment on the video. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. So today's topic, it's going to be about what is a psychopath. I just want to remind people that I'm not a therapist and I'm not a licensed doctor. I'm just covering the information that I know about it from my degrees. What is a psychopath? A person suffering from a chronic mental disorder with abnormal or violent social behavior. Some signs of a psychopath are uncaring, shallow emotions, irresponsibility, insincere speech, such superficial charm, overconfidence, narrowing of attention, and selfishness. I just want to say you can have some of these signs and not be considered a psychopath. Because you have to have the mental condition to go along with it. And what I mean, but they are charming. They are able to get people to drop their guard around them. They are good at hiding who they are. They can make themselves seem completely normal. And what they mean by irresponsibility is that they are always able to find a way to blame someone else for what happened even if it's their fault. One of the common myths is psychopaths is that they are the same as a sociopath. But they are not the same condition. They have similarities, but at the same time, they are very different. One of the ways that they different they are different is because how they commit their crimes. Because when a psychopath commits a crime, they're stone cold, calculated, and completely premeditated. A sociopath doesn't have that. Their crimes can still be violent, but there's very little planning that goes into it. And it's usually very impulsive. Which could explain why a psychopath is harder to catch than a sociopath. Because a sociopath is more likely to make a mistake compared to a psychopath. Because a psychopath has plans on top of lands to make sure they don't get caught. And if they do... They have plans to make sure that they can blame someone else for what's happened and so they don't have to take responsibility for it. There's certain jobs that attract psychopaths to them. This is not me saying that every person or a large number of the people at these jobs are psychopaths. They're just jobs that attract psychopaths. So the CEOs of companies, lawyers, media, television slash radio, a salesperson, surgeon, journalist, police officer, clergy person, chef, and server servant. The reason why they like these kinds of jobs is because it gives them that power to have over like the control to have over somebody and they really like that they also just want to have power in general and sometimes they excel in, in these jobs because they are able to distance themselves from everything that's happening because they don't feel like they have to take responsibility for their actions and if you look at signs them being able to be superficial charming is going to make them be a good salesperson for a company because they're going to be able to win over the customers to get them to go to their business. 
the narrowing of attention that would work with a surgeon because they have to be able to focus really well when they're operating on someone. An example of a psychopath, a famous one is Ted Bundy, a famous serial killer that most people think of when they think of someone with a mental disorder such as a psychopath. And when you look at his kills, you can see how his kills were very like calculated and he didn't take as many risks because it took a lot longer for him to get caught because he did do what he had to do to cover up his tracks to the point it made it difficult to catch him and he took a lot of forensic measures when it came to the victims when it comes to motives for psychopaths there's usually three different motives and sometimes it can be just one of them or it can be a combination of one, two or more of them. It's generally power, control, and sadistic gratification. They may just want harm people because they want that power over that person. They enjoy having that power over that person. Or they just may want to feel like they're in control. Power and control usually go in hand in hand when you're talking about a psychopath. And when it comes to sadistic gratification, it generally means they enjoy causing pain or harm to others. And that's the only reason why they're doing what they do. I'm not making this video because I support psychopaths, I'm making this video so I can help better inform the public of what is a psychopath and to try to stop the myth that a psychopath and a sociopath are the same. They are not the same. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and comment down below if you have any video ideas or any questions you have for me. And hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm going to be putting a video out tomorrow. The topic's going to be what is a sociopath. So I thought these two videos should go together because it would be a good way to talk about them. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Stay safe. Crime out of this nation. I'm out.